Welcome to Angkor Wat, bitches, the largest religious complex in the world by land area measuring 162 hectares, whatever that means. The temple was built in the early 12th century at the behest of Surya Varman II of the Khmer Empire. It's pretty epic. You can explore it for uh, something like 60 bucks a day American. You get a pass into the Angkor archaeological uh, complex and there are so many temples. There are really thousands of, of ruins that can be explored. I rented a mountain bike one day and did a little bit of off-roading and was able to see some temples that weren't on the main maps. I definitely recommend doing that. I spent about three days running around the complex and the parks and just really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it's probably a once-in-a-lifetime experience and it's something that you really can't miss if you're in Cambodia. You've, you've got to go to Siem Reap and see Angkor Wat. It is an absolute crime if you do not visit this beautiful holy site. Originally, Angkor was built and dedicated to uh, Lord Vishnu, who was a Hindu god, and uh, later it was converted to a Buddhist temple towards the end of the 12th century. It's meant to represent Mount Meru, uh, and unlike most Angkorian temples, Angkor Wat is oriented to the west, and nobody really knows why this is. It's super easy to organize transportation through the archaeological park. You can negotiate with the tuk truck driver and typically they'll be waiting for you outside your hostel uh, or maybe when you arrive with a uh, bus company. I use Giant Ibis to get there. Uh, there's a lot of options typically. Uh, your tuk truck driver will take you around. Mine offered to like even uh, film and photograph me in a few spots. There's also no shortage of souvenirs and places to eat within the park. You can absolutely go there without a plan and enjoy your, your day until you get, uh, as they say, templed out.